everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your full body dumbbell strength burner workout. So in this workout, we will be using one set of dumbbells. I'll be using my eight pound dumbbells today, and we will be going through exercises one at a time to really strengthen and burn out those muscles. We'll get the entire body with one set of dumbbells. All you need in addition to that is a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so just march it out, roll through those shoulders. Like always, we will start with a quick little warm up, but we'll keep it short. Just some dynamic moves to get the blood flowing, muscles warm. As always, if you need more of a warm up or cool down, please get it on your own. Big deep breath in and out. One more. And then roll through our backs. So here we go. Take it flat down and round it up. So here's how this is going to work it's called burner because we are going to be burning out those muscles. The good news is, is that nothing repeats itself. Everything you do, you're only gonna do once, but we're gonna do a few different sets in a row so we really make them work hard, right? So a different kind, hold it here, of muscle strength, muscle endurance. So if you're used to doing a lot of my other full body dumbbell videos, this will be a little bit different, hopefully in a good way. And then round it up, walk it in and tap it out, reach across. But we will just be focusing on one body part at a time, mostly. As you know, a lot of things are engaging a lot of things at once. Reach it over your head and then moving on. So once you're done with it, you're done with it. And then let's bring the knees to the chest, bring them up, little gentle pulls. Roll through those hips. Yes, hamstring curls to the back, flex. Breathing. And then take it out to the front. Stretch. There we go. All right, so with your dumbbells, you can grab one or two, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start with two, bend your knees to get them. We will start with just a basic lunge. So one foot forward, one foot back. Try to get low if you can. If you want one dumbbell, you can just hold one at your chest or no dumbbells at all is fine with this as well. And we're just going to drop it low, 90 degrees, both legs. Here we go. Drop it down, bring it up. So on this lunge, if it bothers your knees to get low, it's fine to stay higher, but just know the lower we get, the more support we get in our glutes, in our hamstrings, in the back of our legs. So work hard to get that strength and flexibility if you can, but as always, you work to your level. Let's go eight more singles on this side. Core's pulled in, shoulders back, breathing through. <sighs> Drive up through that heel. I'll always remind you to push into the heel so we engage the glutes. Four more right here. Let's go four. <sighs> and three. And two. We're gonna stay on this leg. Let's take it down for two, up for two. So slow, down for two, up for two. It's hard to slow it down. It's gonna take some momentum out of it. You're gonna feel it. Up for two. Four more, just like that. Down for two. Up for two. Drive through, shoulders back. Think about that core pulling in. Last one like this. Down for three, up one. Watch me. Three, two, one. Power it up. Three, two, one. Is it burning yet, minus? Three, two, one, and up. Can we reverse it? Down one, up three. Down one, three, two, one. Down one, three, two, two more. Down three, two, last one. Let's take it all the way down, as low as you can go. Pulse it here. Finish it out. This is what I mean by burner. So this is what it's gonna look like, but it won't be as much with different body parts. Four, three, two, shake it, <laughs> right? So as you can tell, your heart rate is probably up. I know mine is. So even though we're slowing things down, we're gonna keep the heart pumping. So you will feel that cardio as well. So whatever leg that was in the front, let's put it forward. So if that was the leg that was burning, put it forward so we don't forget, right? And we're gonna take a break from legs and let's do 
a bicep curl. So right here, just up and down. We're gonna get that other lunge, but let's give our legs and our heart rates a little bit of a break. Just in and up, looks like this. So that foot is just staying forward for balance. Totally fine to be here too, but sometimes we arch our back. And again, we're keeping it forward so we don't forget which one. Here we go. Let's go eight and down and seven and six. Breathe, slow and controlled. You can always alternate if you need to and breathe two more. Can we slow it down? Up for two, down for two, up for two, down. All the way down by your side, all the way in to the chest. So we really get that full range of motion, lengthen on the way down, up for two, down, four more, four, and breathe, and three, last two, two, one more, Good, up for three, down one. Here we go, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down. Two more, three, two, nice and slow. One more, let's switch it. Up one, down three, up, down, two. I'm rotating a little bit at the top and then turning them in, but it's up to you. Two more, up strong, whole burn, different burn, right? Hold them halfway up in the center. Little pulses, small ones, just like this. Breathe. Turn them in, hammer, keep pulsing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax, tap that out, whoo, right? Turn to that other side. Good, drop them down actually, but put that other foot forward. The other one that we're gonna do those lunges with, stretch it back. We're gonna do that lunge circuit on this side. Bend your knees to get them. Singles, here we go. So now that your brain knows what's coming, it's gonna be tempting to cheat that lunge and just go here, because you know you're gonna have to slow it down. Try not to do that. Try to get all the way down and breathe. Again, the lower we get, the more support we get, the more we also work our booties. That's what we love about it. Breathe. Four more right here for four, three, two, down for two, up for two. Here we go, down for two, up, chest nice and tall, cores in tight, breathe, down for two, up for two, four more, focus into that heel. Think about all the muscles that are working. So I know you're feeling your quads burning in the front, but we're getting a lot of butt, a lot of the back of the legs, inner outers, core is engaged. Down three, up one, here we go. Three, two, one, and power. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, three, two. Switch it, down one, up three. Down one, up, two, three. Down one, up, two, two more. Down, whoo, last one. Can we drop it low and pulse? I know you can. Drop it down, pulse it. I know it's tempting to stay up top, but get low so we can work that booty. Breathe, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, shake it out. Ha. Ah, let's drop those dumbbells. Bend your knees to do it. Shake out those legs. Push those arms to the back. I know that's a lot, guys. Breathe. Quick sip of water. We're gonna go to some rows for some upper body. So again, we're not doing any hit intervals, not doing any specific cardio, but on that stuff, as we really engage the muscles, as you can tell, you're gonna feel it in that heart rate, right? So breathe, roll those shoulders back. Take it here, hinge at those hips, soft bend in the knees, flat back, regular row. Here we go, bring it up. I know this is gonna feel like a lot in that hinge position, so if it starts to bother your back, just come up in between if you need to and go right back down. 
Here we go. Or you can always go on all fours. We want that back to be working, knees are soft. As we get tired, making sure we're not rounding for four, three, two. Let's slow it down, up for two, down for two. This one will look a little different. Up for two as we get to the end. Up for two, up for two, down for two. On that two count, really squeeze those shoulder blades in. Four more, four, and breathe. Three, last two, one more. Good, roll it up, give your back a little break. We're gonna stay here. This is what I mean by this one's gonna look a little different. We're gonna take it to a wide row. Hinge those shoulders and hips back. Take it here for singles. This is how we're gonna burn this one out two ways. Squeeze and back. Not as many. Upper back a little bit more and shoulders. And breathe. Core is pulled in. Only eight right here. Up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. Again, I know you're gonna feel that lower back. That's okay, you can also put one foot back or go to all fours. Four more than this one's done. Four, squeeze, core, three, last two, two, one more, and relax. I want you to actually bend here, stretch out that back, and breathe, bring it up, tap it out, roll those shoulders, right? Burning it out, I know. This workout feels like it's moving slower, but we're actually going through fast through these body parts because we're burning them out, slowing it down. Breathe, let's get two dumbbells. Side lunge right here, but we're gonna keep it stationary. So we're not stepping into it, we're just pushing into it to the right. Here we go, down, push out. So you're really just leaning into that hip, and up. Watch me, straight leg, bent leg, and up. Driving the hips back, and up. Eight more singles right here. Eight, and up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's stay on the same side, down for two, up for two, down for two, up for two. If you want that challenge, move your dumbbells this way, touch it down, up for two, down for two, up for two, down. Four more, right here, here we go. Four, on the two count, shoulders back. Three, last two, two, one more. Good, down for three, up one, three, two, one, and up, three, two, one, and up, three, two, one. Keep those eyes up, I know it's tempting as we get tired. Switch it, down one, up three, down, up, two, three, down, up, two, two more. I know, not the same kind of burn as that regular lunge, right? Let's pulse it all the way down. Try to get low into it here, into that hip. You know you're probably feeling a little oblique too. We love it. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, step it in, shake it out. Whoo! All right, team. Remember what side you were at. You may even want to put that foot forward to remember, but we'll come back to it in a minute. For me, it was my right, so probably your left. We're gonna take it to some shoulder raises. I'm gonna give you some options. If you have lighter and you can go here, looks like this. Breathe to the front. If you have a little heavier, you wanna just go one. Again, feet can be here or here. Breathe. Watch me slow it down. Take it up for two. Take it down for two. Core in, up two. Here's what we don't want, guys. I don't want you to be going over your head and arching that back. Pull everything in, nice and stable, chest level. That's all we're going. Four, up for two. You need to be like me and drop that dumbbell. You can 
Two more right here. Two. Last one. I want you to hold it here. Now let's go up and down. Or if you have two dumbbells, singles. I know that's a lot, but if you have maybe some threes or fives and you're able to be here, breathe back. Up for two, down for two. Up, two, straight up, chest level. Up, two, two more. Last one. And relax. I know, again, different kind of burn. Grab that other dumbbell if you were just using one. Let's take it to that side lunge, nice and wide. Ready, here we go. Lean into it, push out. So even though we're not stepping into it like we normally do, try to still get that full range of motion. So you're really driving that hip back, getting low, pulling that core in, and up. Watch my hip, it's going back like a squat. Eight, and breathe. Seven, always find a drop down to one dumbbell if you want. One more, four, three, two, down for two, up for two. Here we go. Down for two, up for two. Down and breathe. Yes, down, two, up for two. Four more, just like this. Four, and breathe. And three, last two right here, two, one more, down three, up one, here we go. Three, two, one, and push. Can you get low? Really touch it down, push it up. Three, two, one, and push. Let's reverse it. Down one, up three. One, three, two, one, down. Three, two, two more. Three. Last one, and we pulse it, get low, here we go. Pulse, pulse, really drop into it, drive the hips back, pulse into the heels. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, tap it out. Woo, breathe, right? One dumbbell down, hang on to one, or drop them both, get a quick sip of water, right? Woo. So I'm using eights, guys. You might be heavier, you might be lighter. Sometimes you all ask me why I often use eights. The truth is, when I'm not doing anything else during that day, I'm getting just one workout. I try to go heavier. I will always encourage you to go heavier. A lot of times when I'm filming, especially after having kids, I have to film a few workouts in a day, so I go a little later, lighter to save my muscles. So that's why, but it's still challenging, right? So one dumbbell down, one hand up, let's just, just do that very basic side bend, reach and up. Hopefully this feels like a little bit of a stretch. And breathe after all of that, right? Bend, here we go, four, eight. So we're not gonna slow these down, we're gonna do it in a different way. And breathe, four more right here, four, three, and hopefully this gives you a nice little breather, still working. Let's add a side knee, little bend, side knee. You don't have to touch elbow to knee, just go for it if you can, breathe, and up. Four, three, two, good, just your side knee, down and up. So it's a little bit quicker, I know I told you we weren't gonna do cardio, but think of it more as that side crunch. Breathe, grab a chair or a couch if you need to, or the wall. Four, three, two, relax it down the other side. Big stretch, and over. I know, this feels so easy in comparison, right? Don't worry, we got more coming. It's almost time to go to the mat. We got one last little leg burner. Breathe. Let's go reach side knee right here. Reach side knee. Reach side knee. And breathe. Four. Three, two, just the side knee. Here we go. Bring it up. Bring it up. 
breathe, squeeze, side crunch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax it down, good, okay. So grab one or two dumbbells. It's a deep squat, so you can hold one here or two here. I'll show you both. Where our burnout again is gonna look a little different, not as many slow ones, but hold it at your chest. Drop as low as you can right here. Drop it down, goblet squat if you can, which is getting super low. And breathe. If that feels like too much and you just wanna hold it, one dumbbell, that's sign two. And breathe. Good, slow it down, but only two. Down for two, and up for two. We won't do the really slow ones. Down for two, and up for two. I've been known to teach classes before where we went all the way to eight. Eight counts down, eight counts up. Whew. It gets slow. Four more, just like this. Four, drive up in the heels. Three, two more. Two, last one. Let's turn those toes out. It's plie singles. One or two dumbbells, they can be here or down low. Up to you. On the plie, it's a little bit easier to hold them right in the center. Drop those hips, squeeze it up. Down and up. Here we go. Eight and seven. Squeeze, six, toes out. Five, four, Three, two, good, hold it down, watch me here, lift the heels one at a time. This is our last little burn. Then we're going to the mat so you can do it, stay low. Dumbbells here, dumbbells here, dumbbells here. Up to you, burn, burn. Breathe, core's in tight. Here we go, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. Shake that out, tap it out. Drop your dumbbells down. Little shake, catch your breath. Roll those shoulders, quick sip of water. Let's come down to the mat. Okay, so we're gonna come down on the mat with our dumbbells. So let's start with a little chest press. So we're here, your feet can be just about hip width apart, it's totally up to you, and we're just gonna press up and press down. So join me when you're ready. We're gonna start with those singles. We'll do some slow sets, but I promise we'll get through this quick. We're almost done with this workout. Just press up and down. Core is engaged. If you wanna add a little extra core, you can bring those feet up. Totally up to you, depending on where you are with your abs. And breathe. Dumbbells are just coming elbows down wide by your sides. And then we're pressing out four more like this for four and three for two. Let's slow it down, up for two, down for two, right here. Take it up for two, down for two. Again, if you need to be here, that's fine too. Down for two, up for two. Good, four more right here. Up for two, down for two. Two more. Last one. Ooh, can we go up three, down one? I think we can. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one. I'm really feeling how tired my arms are. I'm gonna bring these back up so maybe my abs will distract me. Switch it right here. Here we go, up one. Down, two, three. Up one, down, two, nice and slow. Two more. Last one. Let's hold it in the center. Little pulse, pulse. Breathe. Yes. There we go. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax it down. Ooh, little taps for core while we stretch out those arms over your head. Pull that core in tight and breathe. Right. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
too good. So with or without the dumbbells, we're gonna come into a bridge. So if you wanna put the dumbbells right on top of your legs or do it without, we're just going singles. Lift up and down, singles and down. Squeeze, lifting as high as you can. I know they're tired, so if you feel like you can't get as much range of motion with the dumbbells, just drop them down to the side and just do the motion. Let's go four, let's take this down. Three, not as many reps, right? So we can finish this out. Up for two, down for two. Up for two, down. We're not gonna do as many here. Up for two, core's pulled in. Up and breathe. Up, four more, nice and slow. Four and breathe. Three, last two, two, one more. Let's hold it up, little pulses. Pulse, pulse, yes, squeeze, breathe. Good, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop them down, bring those feet up. Woo. Stretch it out. You can either just hold here for a stretch or a little bit of core with scissors. I know sometimes I like to put the scissors after a bridge so we can really stretch out those hamstring muscles, but also get core. If you need to, drop the shoulders down and keep it here. And breathe totally fine just to do a stretch break, depending on where you are for your abs. Breathe. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. One more time with those dumbbells. We're gonna take it up for tries. Everything's tired, we're gonna keep it short right here. Take it singles, bending at the elbows. You've got two dumbbells. If you've got have your dumbbells and you wanna take it to one, grab it on either side right here. Looks like this, and down. Core is pulled in, and then same thing. You can keep those feet up if you wanna engage the abs a little bit more. Breathe. Let's take it down for two right here. Down for two, up for two. Core's in, either way, feet up or down. And breathe, down for two. Two more like this. Yes, let's go three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, yes, two more, three, two, one. Reverse it for four, and then we're done with these dumbbells. Down, three, two, burn. Down, three, two, one, two more. Whoo, yes! I know, last one. Breathe, no pulses, bring them down. Good, stretch that out. And over, ooh, yes. Turn over onto your side, dumbbells out of the way. Come up into a side plank a couple quick core things, and then we are done. So lift it all the way up. You can be here, crossed over, or here. Drop that knee down, or both knee down, knees down. We're just holding it here. Breathe. Yes. And then for this, we're just doing down and up. All the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. Breathe. Four more singles, four, Three, two, good, little pulses at the top. Pulse that hip, drop it down. Knees fine, if that's down too, breathe. Yes, it's hard because our arms are tired, right? Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it down right here, a little stretch. Take it over. Same thing, other side. We're gonna hold that side plank first. So find that hold. Lift it up and hold. You can be crossed over here. You can be stacked. This knee can be down or here. Whatever feels good for you. And then drop the hip down, singles for eight. Eight and up. Seven. Six. And five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it at the top. Here we go. Pulse, pulse. 
breathe. Keep pulsing. Knee can be down if you need it to. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax, big stretch. Excellent. Take it over on hands and knees. Pull everything up and in. And we're just going bear plank. So watch me first, pull that core in. You can do just singles, one at a time, or both knees. Here we go. Lift and lower. There we go. Lift it up. This is our very last thing I know. One knee at a time, if you need to for your core. And breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Big stretch back. Woo. Excellent. Good. Let's take it all the way down. This is your last thing. I know. Sorry. Keep adding on, but we're going to do plank singles. Feel free to just take a stretch break if you need to, or here with me. Big inhale, exhale to knees. Drop it down. Inhale, exhale, lift up in that center core. Just going to knees for now. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. Inhale, exhale. Let's take it all the way up for toes. So it's a little bit of that up for two. Inhale, exhale to knees and toes down and down. If that's too much for where you are with your core and breathe, then just take a stretch break. Inhale, exhale to knees, pull it up, pull it up, down. Let's get last one. And relax. So wherever you are, stretch it back into the child's pose. You did it. Big reach. Yes. Ah, bring it up to a seated position. I know, that's why we called it burner. Even though we only did one set of everything, it was one really long set, right? So breathe, take it forward. Arms out, chin to your chest. So that's really a great way to add variety to any of your workouts, is just by slowing things down. Sometimes with things like squats or lunges or really any of our exercises, we can get into the groove and use a little momentum. Doesn't mean that we're not working, we certainly are, but it helps us focus a little more on strength and muscle endurance to really take our time with it. Drop it here, roll through that wrist. And can be in front as well. And other side to the cross. As always, get more of a stretch and a cool down on your own. You can stretch out, check out any of my stretching videos. Check the description below. I do have several ebooks and programs that go along with these videos if you want a little bit more structure, feet out in front. All available on my website if you want a schedule or more structure and accountability as well as my four-week nutrition guide it's not a diet plan it gives you lots of flexibility while giving some structure and some advice all are available check the links below one big deep breath in and out roll those shoulders a couple times if you liked it, make sure you let me know below and subscribe. That was your full body dumbbell strength burner workout. Great job, everybody.